morning. We're, uh, we're already in spot and everything, same spot as yesterday. But um, I'm not glassing from the same exact spot that I was uh, yesterday morning. I went and done around to the right. Uh, no night session happened last night. College football got in the way and my Gators lost to Kentucky. So their season's pretty much over. So now I don't have any worries on Saturday. Um, I'm out here with my buddy Jamie and his friend. He is literally uh, directly parallel, perpendicular. He's literally across the way from me. So we're both glassing into that giant bowl that I showed you guys on the last video. Um, nothing yet. 635, the sun is just coming up. So we're in a perfect position. Uh, that's it. Enjoy the video. Should be a good one. Enjoy this too, because it's a good one. So Jamie and his buddy are over here on this ridge. So we can see them coming and going. And this is where I was glassing from in the morning yesterday. Right over here. Alright, we got a doe and a buck. Might be the same one from yesterday. I'm gonna try to get this spot that's going on for you guys. I think this is the same guy. Yesterday. Look at this girl. There's this doe to the left. So we got three. Let me see if I can. So it's one, two, three. This might be the Same size as the one with the dough over here. All right, so I have a buck behind me, and now there are four deer on this fire break over here. Looks like maybe two fawns, a doe, and a buck, but I guess they're looking for shoots in the dirt or something. The blade would be good. I have the wind perfectly in my face. They're distracted. Maybe a little early to make a move, but those two does at the on this guy for now. Weird angle, I know you're on the spotting scope. Um, so Jamie said he saw a big buck that was to my left. This ridge is cutting me off from potentially seeing it. So, I don't know. That other buck is still on this fire break with a couple of does still just munching away. I have good wind for him, not good wind for the other one. So I'm just gonna sit tight. I don't, I don't want to chance anything or bust anything because that bigger buck may walk this way if he comes up and um, could put himself right in front of me. Okay, Jamie just gave me an idea where he's at. I'm gonna go look for him. So I couldn't turn up the buck that Jamie was talking about, but the 
This buck that's stuck with the doe is literally bedded on this fire break. The approach would be really hard, so I'm just gonna wait it out. I mean, if the shot presents itself, or the opportunity presents itself, I'm gonna take it for sure. I haven't seen anything else. Another hunter popped up right here. There were me and Jamie in between, essentially. Still glass and look for something a little bigger, but like I said, I'm not gonna turn down an opportunity like that, especially if they keep like working their way this way towards me. All right, so a little update. You can see the thing moving just to the right of the bush in the middle. That may or may not be the buck, but the buck's in here too. It's a, uh, it's nine o'clock. Uh, they're still moving. Jimmy's seen a lot of deer moving too from his angle. I think we're up to four or five bucks for the day. I'm just not sold on shooting this guy just yet. You know, a deer's a deer. I'm being super picky. Yeah, you can see it all moving now. It's moving through, like on that bush. Oh, there he is. Shit, shit, shit. I'm not sure where the doe went, but wherever he's at, she's nearby. This is the only buck we've seen. That's chasing does right now. Okay, so nothing's moved in here. Thinking he bedded. Oh, to make the approach, it'd be literally probably a 10 minute walk there. That's it. Quarter mile, maybe. I haven't seen anything. All right, here we go. Stock number three of the year. It's, it's in my head that uh, I need a big deer, but a deer is always nice, especially, you know, a buck. And everyone says young bucks taste the best, so. I guess we'll find out. It's legal and let's get after it. We're talking like 10, 10 yards away. I'm walking right by the bush they were in. That was one of the fawns. There goes the buck. I got my bearings mixed up. There's two signs down here. It's one right below me, and then literally one right below above me. And then there was a fucking, uh, like a little metal post. <sighs> Just watching them. Anyway, I got confused because I thought they were under the metal post. So I literally walked by them once. I walked by them once and then I was like, oh wait, this is the post I need to be at. So I come back over, or come back down this post, and I look at this bush. I was like, that has to be the bush. I take a step up on this break, literally 10 yards. 10 freaking yards. Like this bush right here. Like, here I am. It's right there. Right freaking there, and they were right there. All four of them. Oh. <sighs> 
So am I upset? Yeah, of course. Because they were so close. I, I, I literally walked by them once with the wind hitting my back. Um, I guess to the side, like blew right towards them multiple times. So I guess they were just playing it calm, hoping I'd just like continue walking by. I don't know. Um, am I heartbroken though? Not at all. Like I said, it was like a big two by two, had some deep forks. But I mean, if that thing was like a big three by three or four by four, yeah, I'd be absolutely heartbroken. So <sighs> three stalks, three stalks, two on the same buck, which is kind of cool. But yeah, literally 10 yards. I ranged it. It's 10 yards. Um, is what it is. No love lost, no arrows lost. So, yep. All right, back to the car. Probably gonna glass for another hour. Then I uh, gotta go home and help out the wife and the baby with some stuff. So, see you at the car. And additionally, another thought. Um, the reason I was 10 yards, because that's, you know, stupid close. Um, I wanted to go to 30, but there was no angle. There's no angle for the shot at 30. Everything was blocked off. So I, two degree, had to get that close, not realizing I was actually that close to begin with. But oh, that's why I know Brian, Brian Barney talks about stalking to failure. I would consider that in this situation just because uh, I had no other choice. But um, this is what it is. All right, picking up the backpack, walking back to the car. And yeah, that's it. All right, I don't know why I started the video like that. Um, obviously in the car, we are calling it today at 10:45. Man, I'm just like a like a, a morning hunter, or I guess half day hunter would be a better expression. But whatever, see a bunch of deer. Damn, dude. Oh man, I'm um, over at Jamie's car. We got the sweet ass looking forerunner. If that's his, own, if that's his car or his friend's car, but they're almost here. Just want to talk to him a little bit. Say what's up and uh yeah i mean i got a lot of action I'm, a lot we call it a lot of action how many deer did we see like how many deer did i see and y'all see uh let's see four five 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 deer today same buck same doe two other does a fawn and another buck so the buck count only goes up one because i'm not going to count the same one from yesterday when it's 100 percent guaranteed that was the same buck but uh that's all thank you so much for watching really do appreciate it uh, looks like we're about to break 800 subscribers, so let's keep that going. I really don't know. This video will probably be released like three weeks after the filming, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, happy hunting, everyone. And if you got a big buck, congratulations. And if you're still looking, keep working. All right? See you guys soon. Peace.